Here we have an example of what's called a standalone solar photovoltaic system. Standalone is one of the three main groups of your solar photovoltaic applications. The other two are grid connect, where we connect to a standard electrical outlet or grid tied system. The third system is called direct connect. An example of that might be where we use photovoltaics to power a solar pump directly. This is our main display box, which also has our two main loads. A marquee, which is a programmable device, allows us to program it with different messages, display times. Messages can be time specific, so I can display a message at nine o'clock, a different message at 10 o'clock. Also, we have in here a light, which comes on at night and illuminates the display inside. So at night, both the light and the marquee are on. During the day, only the marquee. Off to the side, we have a little photodiode which controls whether the light comes on or off, depending upon if it's daytime or nighttime. When I open the box, which allows us to keep it under control and it's weather tight and also allows us to lock it, we can see that there are some very interesting electrical components. We have a battery charge controller, which allows us to control the charge and discharge of the battery from the power from the PV panels. We have fused disconnects, allowing us to isolate dis different portions. And over here, we have our final um, electronic controller, which allows us to control the lights according to the photodiode. Our PV module has been sized to provide enough energy to keep the battery charged. The battery is designed to store energy overnight and provide the energy to the system to run our loads. Also, if we have cloudy days, two or three cloudy days in a row, this will have enough energy to run it during the day on those cloudy days. Here we have what's called an AGM, which is a deep cycle sealed gel battery. It's very typical for solar applications. And with it, we have our fused disconnect, and it's a DC fuse, and it's what's called a touch safe fuse disconnect. And also our red and black uh, positive and negative wires, which go through the pole to our different devices, and also our grounding wire. Notice that it's in a sealed box weather tight that also allows us to lock it for safety reasons. There's also a rack that will mount the PV panel. By putting it on a pole gives us a nice elegant way to connect all the pieces. Also our wires can run inside the pole and then it provides elevation for the PV module because we're in sort of a high traffic area and we want to get this up and out of the way. Notice that the rack which holds the PV panel allows us to tilt the PV panel and in this case we're pointing south and we have it at a 30 degree tilt angle which is about right for this place, this location. Examples of standalone systems that you might see as you're traveling around Las Cruces are school crossing signs or perhaps a, a work sign that they haul behind a trailer to, to tell you that there's work in progress or highway signs or lighting above a, a sign on a freeway. Those are all sort of standalone systems. A big example of a standalone system might be a photovoltaic system that runs a cabin up in Cloudcroft or something like that. That's a more complex example of a standalone system. The preceding was a production of New Mexico State University. The views and opinions in this program are those of the author and do not necessarily represent the views and opinions of the NMSU Board of Regents.